the best thing about today's tutorial is that the pattern that we're going to be using is free like it's in the description box it's in the description box right now all you have to do is go there and download it put it together boom hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to diys with ego if you're here for the first time i'm ego i'm a diy fashion and lifestyle blogger welcome to my youtube channel today's tutorial is going to be a diy ob belt tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to make an ob belt if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe it really helps my channel grow so your first pattern should be this and it should be it should say a right here that should be your first pattern and then it should be followed by a bunch of other pages like this say b c d and e right that's the first thing and then your other pattern the main belt part comes in this way you should have two you should have two of these like this you should have this and you should have this right you should have those two and then you should have um something similar to what you had the first time the b c d and e you should have all those parts okay so we're going to be cutting those parts out and we're going to be joining them together trace them out with a, a pair of paper scissors don't use the same scissors that you use to cut your fabric otherwise you ruin your fabric scissors just cut along the lines the pattern includes a half an inch allowance on all sides so when you're transferring it to the fabric you're transferring it directly there's no need to add um, an allowance to it pattern parts B to E are the same for both OB belt patterns so you really only need to cut out one what we're going to do is link corresponding numbers Now, I like for the um, center parts of the OB belt, of, for my OB belt to be stiffer, just so they don't fold when you sit or when you're walking, depending on the kind of outfit you're wearing it with. with I prefer for them to be stiff. So, to do that, we're going to be working with gum stay interlining fabric. This is what it looks like. It's translucent and maybe this is translucent or transparent it's translucent yeah and it's very easy to use you can get it on amazon i got this one from uh alibaba i'm going to put a link in the description box so you get the gum stay interlining fabric and you put it in between the fabrics that you're going to use for your ob belt because we're going to be putting two layers on each other and you're basically just going to put the interlining fabric in between and you're going to iron it and that's going to make the center part of the ob belt stiff and it's going to give it um form a better form so this is what your pattern should look like number one and number two don't forget that you're going to be cutting this one on a fold all right so it's these two and for each belt 
we're going to be cutting the ties in four places two overlapping on the left and two overlapping on the right I'm going to show you when we get straight into the tutorial so now for materials what exactly are you going to need for this tutorial you can use the same fabric to make both belts that's entirely up to you I'm going to use two separate fabrics and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it so let's get to it
So guys, I'm going to go show you how these belts are going to be worn and let's just see, let's see what they look like. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to get more of my content. It also really helps my channel grow, so subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. I keep talking to you, hit the subscribe button. Okay, just hit it. It won't take that much, just click on it right now. Thank <laughs> you.